right? How you I, doing, buddy? This is the first time holding the stakes. Oh, oh, they got two on them now. Oh, God. It's hard. <laughs> Good morning, Checkies. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. This is our last day in California. We are heading back over the Pet Expo, but we have a couple people coming to do some collab stuff with us, so we're gonna have a really cool thing. As a matter of fact, the one guy is seven foot one inches tall, and of course he has a vlog channel called Seven Foot Tall Vlogs. So we're gonna have a really good time with these guys, showing them animals and just having a great time. And me and Noah are gonna do some fun stuff, so I can't wait to bring you guys along. I wanted to tell you one thing, and I cannot thank you guys enough for this we actually surpassed 20 million views on this vlog channel so listen guys that is amazing we've only been around for like five six months and we've already hit 20 million views on this channel it took me years to get to 20 million on snake bites so thank you guys so much you are so awesome and you make me feel so good I hope you guys just have an incredible day what do you say together we have an awesome day Let's get this day started. All right, so we finally made it back to the Cat Spot booth, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about Cat Spot in a minute, but for now, I wanna introduce you guys to these guys here. What's going on, guys? What's up? Yeah, right, yeah. So you guys, oh, look at this guy's shirt, man. He's got a raptor who's gonna attack me. <laughs> so these guys have been here waiting to come hang out a little bit, so I'm gonna talk to them and spend a little time because they are absolutely awesome. And, uh, and then we're gonna show you around. We have a pretty fun day lined up today, and uh, it's going to be epic. All right, so Bo, the seven foot one tall guy, is about to get here. But before I get going, I did want to at least mention why I'm actually here in Orange County. Of course, we went to come collab with a bunch of people, but this pet show, I'm actually here with Cat Spot, of course. And you guys know, in just full disclosure, that I'm part of that company. But I wanted to explain to you guys, if you guys are, guys are cat lovers, I'm going to give you a really quick sales pitch. And basically, what it is is Cat Spot is a all organic coconut fiber litter for your cat. So, you know, it, it's kind of different than the clay base. Helps absorb smell. It doesn't clump, but uh, if you scoop it out every day, it actually eliminates all the order, and it's really good. So anyways, I just had to give you the quick pitch from my company here because they brought me out here, and of course, these are the guys that I've paired up with, not only with CatSpot, but Reptile Prime. So it's a great company. You can check them out at catspot.com uh, because I love those guys. They're so good to me, and uh, that is why I'm here in California. Okay, so my compadre here, Jeff, is really adamant about me trying this gum. I have a feeling they're setting me up for something. What the heck? That is like the mintiest thing I've ever tasted in my life. Oh my God, it's horrible. Oh. That is horrible. Thanks a lot, Jeff. <laughs> it's Here you like, go. It's a grenade. Holy moly. It's like, it's like if you took cough medicine and concentrated it into a gum, like 10 times stronger than cough medicine. That's what it tastes like, right? I can smell it from your breath from here. Did you not do it? No, I got those ones. Those ones are Oh, no, it, no, it pranked me. He said he did it. Oh my gosh, it is so bad guys. That's ridiculous. Here, let's have do, no one do the good ones. Yeah, you do, you do. Woo. Two of them, Noah. Two of them, Noah, not one. Okay. It is like cough medicine. <laughs> no, you gotta look at it. It's cough medicine. I can't chew anymore. I know, go spit it up. Here, put it in there. Just spit it out in there. Oh, what, that was horrible, isn't it? I need a breather. <laughs> <laughs> the water's not gonna help. <laughs> Let's check this out, man. What's going on, guys? What's up, man? Good to 
to see you. Good to see you. Hey, man, what's going on? What's going on, dude? Okay, so you guys ready to get into my world for a little while? Oh my gosh, I don't know it's if a crazy ready. angle, man. Oh, yeah, seven okay, foot. So we're gonna go check out some reptiles. Right. Right. We didn't really know what to expect today, but this is awesome. But Trey doesn't really like reptiles and spiders and all that different type of stuff. And what, Trey? What's up, man? Come How's on. How's it going? How's it going? I am uh, right, a little so, nervous. All right, so my mission today is to totally make you a reptile lover, right? We gonna do this? Yeah. Okay. All right, man. We're we're down, man. We're gonna do this, brother. Let's go check this out. All right, guys. We are about to have a great time. We're gonna go into Repticon. My mission is, of course, Bo is just awesome. He's gonna love reptiles. But Trey here, we're gonna turn him into a reptile lover. You guys know I'm gonna do it. You wanna try the little snake first? Let's try the little snake. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try a little tiny little snake for Trey first. All right, man. Here we go. Uh, this is gonna be awesome, man. What do you think is gonna happen, man? Uh, hopefully he doesn't scream like a girl. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking he might do. <laughs> he might scream and run out the door. He's getting red. He's getting long nervous. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. Come on. All right, Trey, you got this, man. What do I do? Are right, you ready? <laughs> what are you thinking right now, Trey? Look at this. Woo, doggy. <laughs> oh, my God. I just feel it. I'm not going to look at it. Uh... <laughs> You're not going to look at it. you got to look at it. It's, it's awesome, a, it's right? A... Soft. Hey Trey, how you doing, bud? How you doing, bud? This is the first time holding the snake. Oh, they got two on them now. Oh god, this first probably pounds. Alright, Trey, see? It's awesome, right? Yeah. You need to eat. Oh god. Oh so good. Oh my gosh. See that? Trey is Trey is killing it, man. It's awesome. This is I'm ready. Let me see my turn. Seven footer. <laughs> Makes that long snake look like nothing. I know, right? <laughs> oh, what do you think, man? Oh, this is um, he's nice. He's nice. He's nice. He's not doing anything. He's like asleep. He's sleep. just chilling, chilling, man. He's okay. chilling. <laughs> this is crazy. How's it feel? It feels. It feels weird. <laughs> it definitely feels weird. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty cool though, right? It's actually super cool. Yeah, right? I mean, once you do it, it's like, it's not, you know, like once you get past that fear, yeah. it's like all of a sudden it just becomes like, wow, this is really awesome, you know? Trey, that was absolutely awesome. Bo, you killed it. Thanks, man. What do you guys think about spiders? Oh, absolutely oh, not. He hates spiders. I, I actually don't know. think he would do that. Absolutely I actually don't think so. <laughs> no, we can't do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. You're going to do yeah, it? I'll All right, do, we're going to do, do spiders. I think that Trey is not going to go for the spiders in this situation, but Bo is definitely going to do it. So that's going to be really cool. And again, it's just cool to introduce people like these guys to my world of animals and get them all excited. And they're just having a great time. So this is absolutely awesome. So what do you think, dude? You ready? Right. Maybe you have the hard way. Yeah. 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 Not gonna bite. It's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna run or jump or anything like okay. that. It's just gonna chill. Okay. Literally nothing can go wrong, uh, other than the fear of it all. So you just hold your hand out flat. Give it like a nice low distance from the table if it wants to jump. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, how you feeling? I'm feeling. Whoa. He's always doing awesome, man. He's totally killing it, man. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. How cool is that, That's huh? crazy. What'd you think, man? That's awesome, though. That's, yeah. It's like a, it's almost like a hamster or something. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a scorpion, right? I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. All right, we got the All scorpion. Right, Bo's gonna do it for me, man. Oh, man. I'm going with Bo, man. Come on, he's the he's the guy that wants. Oh man, thanks, man. Woo. It's crazy. So why do they glow like that? It's part of their DNA. Oh really? So even when they're dead, it's still glowing. Oh wow, that's cool. It's so awesome to see. I mean, Bo is just jumping in. Uh, Trey's just a little bit freaked out by spiders, so we're not gonna push him whatsoever. But uh, but Bo is on it, man. I mean, he is killing it, and he's totally into it. It's, this is so awesome, man. I'm having such a fun time. I, I have more fun having other people watch and handle animals and kind of introduce them than handling them myself, to be honest with you, because I just know I'm opening up eyes to the things that I love so much. Oh Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. He's such a, he's so, is it a she or a she? What's her name? Her name is Hannah. Hannah? Hannah the kid's awesome. She's three months old. Hannah. 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 
And that's a that's a pot belly pig, so it's only gonna get about 50 pounds. So it's not like a huge pig, you know? So cute. Alright, so Bo, this is called an African bullfrog or an African pixie frog. It's one of the largest frogs on the it's planet. Like a bow frog. <laughs> it's a bullfrog. It's a bullfrog. It's a bullfrog. <laughs> it's a heavy frog. <laughs> Crazy. This, this thing will literally eat small rats. It'll eat small rats? It'll eat small rats, yeah. Oh my god, that is insane. It, it'll literally eat something almost the same size of its body. It's just one big mouth right here, and anything it can fit in its mouth, it's going down the, down the thing. One. So it really is like me, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh... <laughs> so guys, this is a little scrub python, and uh, this one's a little bit more feisty than the other one. But I have to show Bo at least the fact that uh, these guys are pretty cool. So, you know, what do you think? You ready? Oh, I'm holding it? Yeah! Oh, come on, you can do it. It's not even like a bee sting. Isn't that wild? That is awesome. It feels so weird. I know, right? It's like little Velcro, you know? Oh, man. Alright, so Bo is about to meet the largest dog in the world, the Irish Wolfhound. This thing is mad. Alright, so what did you guys think? The day adventure of animals. It was awesome. It was a great experience. Thank you. Well, wait, first off, you know, you kicked ass straight. I mean, you you, you conquered your fears and I'm you surprised. had to take. And Bo, you were just a maniac the whole time. Nothing, awesome. nothing stops this guy. I mean, he is absolutely amazing. So as I said, guys, definitely check out all the links down in the description for his content. Uh, Totally cool guys, please show him some love and I guarantee you, you're gonna see him again and Trey Definitely. in my vlogs in the future. This man is awesome, be sure to subscribe. Oh, you already subscribed. If you're not, you better, you better yeah, be. I mean, let's hope, you, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe please. <laughs> so guys, that was so awesome. I tell you what, you know, I've said this a million times is that these trips are really about trying to reach people with the message of tolerance and just being excited about animals. And Bo and Trey were really cool. I mean, you know, Trey overcame his fear and held a snake and he actually really liked it. And of course, Bo was just awesome with everything. So again, you know, basically, they're gonna reach tons of people that follow them and those people are gonna think, oh my God, it was so cool that they were messing with those animals. And hopefully they'll create curiosity and eventually those that curiosity will lead to people really learning a lot more about animals. So, all right guys, so we are vlogging some vlogging right now. What's your channel? Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, Always Evolving Pythons. Always Evolving Pythons. Go check these guys out. Awesome, huh? Yeah, but you guys know who he is. I really have to give a big shout out to Brian, the HB right here, guys. Hey guys, I appreciate your support, man. It's good meeting these guys. They're awesome. Hey, good to meet you guys. Hi, how are you? How's it going? Yep. All right, as always, these shows are fantastic and I've met some new people. How you guys doing? Good. Good. We found the tortoises. Alright guys, as much as I hate to say it, we are wrapping up here at the Pet Expo and we're going to start heading out to LAX to get our hotel for the night. We're going to chill out a little bit. We get up early in the morning and we start to head home to Michigan. Uh, this has been an absolutely epic trip and I know that we've reached millions and millions of people with an amazing positive message. I hope you guys have enjoyed this trip as well because it's been cool and uh, it's just, uh, to me, it's been one of my favorite trips I've maybe ever done to be quite frankly. So uh, anyways, we're packing up here at the Pet Shay, saying our goodbyes and then heading into LA. All right, so we are finally back at our hotel for the night just by LAX and the guys from Catspot did it again, man. They put me in a beautiful hotel. Take a look at this swing place. Ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> this is nice. 
I could I could live like this all the time. Thank you, Catspot. You guys are amazing. I'm so blessed to be working with a company that is so amazing and treats me so well. Regardless, uh, gonna get some food for Noah and then relax for the night and fly out in the morning. All right, so guys, you might notice that I've gotten a little bit of sun the last couple of days. I was definitely outside too much, and I kind of got some burn, but hey, it's all good. Let's go ahead and recap a little bit about what happened here in California. We met a lot of new people, both YouTubers, Instagrammers, and then of course a bunch of people that support us. So this was an absolutely amazing trip. Literally, the people that we hooked up with and collaborated with, whether it was on Instagram or on YouTube, literally added up to somewhere probably about 25 to 30 million potential followers. That's a tremendous amount of people that we were able to potentially reach with an amazing message. So, yes, yeah, some of them were a little freaked out in the beginning, but they were all willing to learn. And thankfully, by the end, even the ones that were the most apprehensive typically really came around and became at least courageous enough to give it a shot and take away a new appreciation for the things that I love so much, which of course is reptiles and snakes. Regardless, I'm always preaching tolerance, but I'm also preaching to step out of your comfort zone and do things that you might not want to do. That's the way I've lived my life and that's certainly the way I encourage you guys to live your life. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this trip. I certainly have and hanging out with Noah for the last few days has been absolutely amazing. Let me know down in the comments it's what you've thought about this trip and what your favorite part of these collabs were. As for now, we're gearing up and we're going to be heading home, back home to Michigan. Tomorrow is going to be a travel vlog. And then, of course, I'll hook up with Lori at the end of the night and kind of see what's been going on at BHB when I have been gone. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. As always, thank you so much for following me and being so unbelievably supportive. You guys just make my life so incredible. Do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell. Remember to always be kind to others. I promise I'm going to see you tomorrow.